gonna say some stupid shit until something sticks. That's your, yeah, there's your intro. <laughs> yeah. What's up guys? This is Jeff with Revival Cycles in another Tech Talk. Today I'm gonna to show you how to assemble the Goodridge Sniper 2 brake line that we sell on the website. We're really fond of this line. I'm gonna tell you why. Here are the tools you'll need. Scissors, side or cable cutters, a pick, calipers, a knife, and a shop rag. The components you need are two banjo fittings, two collets, the hydraulic hose, and a bit of heat shrink. This is an example of it on one of our project bikes here in the shop. We've used the 20 degree chrome banjo on the brakes, which is kind of a typical one, running up to the top where we've got a 90 degree, and uh, each side has its own 90. We're using a double banjo bolt. It allows us to route this in ways that you couldn't do with a typical OEM dot three. It's more flexible, it can take tighter bends, and you can twist it around much more easily. Another thing that's really cool about this line is because it's a smaller diameter, it's much easier to bleed. There isn't nearly as much room for air bubbles to get caught because the air just doesn't have anywhere to get stuck, so it pushes its way out on your first go. Trim one end of the line, making sure to cut a clean, straight edge. Use the sharpest side cutters you have. We've had the best results using the Park Tool C10 cable cutters. These are intended for bicycles, but they're perfect for building cables as well as cutting Goodridge hydraulic lines. After trimming the hose, use the crimp portion of the C10s to squeeze the hose back into round. Measure eight millimeters from the end of the hose and mark it. I use my calipers preset to eight millimeters and use the sharp edge to poke a hole indicating where to cut. Next, cut through the outer sheathing at the mark and remove the end. I like to use a sharp set of scissors and cut the outer sheath while leaving the wire braid intact. Once this is done, you're ready to install the first fitting. Set your rag in the bench vise and tighten down on the hose just enough to hold it in place without crushing or marring it. Line the hose up so a tiny bit more than the exposed wire braid is sticking out. After you have the hose in place, take the fitting you chose for your master cylinder side and twist the banjo collet over the end of the braided hose. Use your pick to expand the first couple millimeters of line. This will allow you to get a better bite as you try to get the fitting started. Now is the moment of truth. Insert the fitting into the collet, being sure to get the taper into the hose end. Stabilize the collet with one hand and use substantial force to push the fitting deeper as you twist clockwise. Repeat this action and you should, after a few twists, feel the threads begin to bite. Continue threading in while providing pressure to guide the fitting into place. Here's a tip. If the threads won't grab, back out the fitting and try using your pick to expand the line a bit more and reattempt. If you botch this step and the Teflon tube gets shredded inside the line, trim it and start over. This isn't supposed to be easy. These are brake lines after all. Leave a couple of twists and these will allow you to align the fittings in exactly the right position during final assembly. Before you install the second fitting, slip two 20 millimeter lengths of heat shrink over the line. Eight millimeter is a good size for this. Slip the heat shrink over the collets and heat it so that it seals the transition between the collet and the sheathing. Now repeat the same steps for the caliper side. The final assembly step is to use the remaining twists on each fitting to adjust the hydraulic line so that it's perfectly positioned. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.